everyone, I'm Dr. Fiona Wu. I'm the Medical Director of R Urology and today we are going to talk a little bit more about stones. If the stones are very big, for example anything more than 2cm or it occupies a large part of the kidney, we will need to move on to a more invasive um, therapy under general anesthesia whereby we will put a scope through the kidney into the stone and then we blast it with um, ultrasonic waves or with um, other kind of energy waves to try to fragment it and then we wash it out. There is also a minimally invasive treatment whereby we put a scope up the ureter into the kidney and we use a laser to blast out all the stones before they, we wash them out or we thrift them out with baskets. So these are the various methods we can use for kidney stones. However, for the stones that have dropped out into the ureter, usually we will do a ureteroscopy, laser lithotripsy for the, to remove the stone. So what we do is that we use a laser again to fragment the stone and then we wash it out. Subsequently, you will see us putting in a stand which is the green thing you see here so that we keep the ureter open so that the patient will feel much better after we do the surgery and, and this happens because the ureter is kept open by the stand otherwise right sometimes if the ureter is very inflamed what can happen is that um, if it closes up the patient can have the same problems again it can be obstruction it can be infection as well for, for some patients if the stones are really very small, for example anything less than 3mm, the stones can usually pass out spontaneously. So what happens to the patient is that they may experience some sort of a pain and subsequently when they pass urine, they will see some blood and the pain stops. So that in that kind of situation, sometimes they can even see the stones, so that's when it's quite okay. We just need to make sure there are no other random stones. However, any um, stones bigger than say 3-4mm, to 4 mm, there's a real risk of it being blocked. And as a result, the patient can have um, very bad pain if the stone keeps trying to come out or they can have infected urine above the stone and as a result of that, they can have infected kidney and um, usually the patient can be quite sick. They may end up in the, in the hospital with very high fever and very bad back pain. And if, if the obstruction is not um, relieved by various methods, it can even be life-threatening because of severe infection. So these are the possibility. And of course, if the patient has two, you know, two kidney stones that drop out simultaneously into the two ureters, they can actually go into acute renal failure. And for some patients, they only have one kidney for various reasons. And if the stone drops out in that solitary kidney, they will really go into renal failure and they can be really sick. So these are the common um, risk factors we see for untreated stones. And of course, lastly, if the stones grow much bigger in the kidney, they can potentially um, spoil the function of the kidney. So sometimes we do see patients you know, with uh, kidney failure because of untreated stones and generally they are quiet, they don't present with much symptoms and as a result this is what happens to them. It depends on what kind of stones, where is the stone and what kind of treatment we have. For example, if it is a kidney stone, we do shockwave lithotripsy. It usually ranges from um, 3,000 to 8,000 depending on where is the stone, you know, where it's being done and uh, how many stones there are. So this is for per treatment. For patients with a lot of stones, right, sometimes I would not recommend they do that because otherwise the cost will be very high. As for ureteric um, stones, when we do um, ureteroscopy, laser, lithotripsy, it can range anything from 3,000 to I would say about 9,000. To allay everyone's fear, there's actually a fee guideline for stones for the, for the urologist. So I think most of the costs will be affordable for most people. But um, I think a good consultation right, with a urologist is very important because um, otherwise right, our aim is still to get rid of all the stones you know, without um, harming the kidney or the patient.